Hello guys, welcome. Yeah. I'm falling. And I can't get up. Yo, what is up, my dude? Oh, well, today's beginning part is gonna be super legitness because I literally went out and spent all of my money on this miniature pool table right here. And this thing is like super beautiful and luxurious looking. And unfortunately, like I already said, this thing literally costed me all of my money. So make sure you guys go and absolutely destroy that life button because one like equals one prayer for my bank account. But no, seriously, guys. I did just buy this pool table right here and we are literally gonna be playing a game of pool on it But unfortunately, it literally takes two people to play it And I literally don't have another person out here that will play pool with me So I'm just gonna use my super manly bird's eye view skills to try to find someone that I can play pool with So I hurried up and I looked around for someone to play pool with Oh my gosh! Guys, look, Rex is right there! Hello, how are you? Let's go ask Rex if he wants to play pool with me. Rex, do you want to play pool with me? Nope. This makes me so mad. I'm just going to absolutely destroy Rex because he's not playing pool with me. Rex, take this. And his name is John C. Hey. Hey. Unfortunately, Rex is not going to play pool with us. Like, unfortunately, there's literally nobody out here that I can play pool with. I guess I'm just going to go inside. Goodbye, guys. Uh, random stuff? I could literally play pool with you. Tor, you are right! Guys, me and Tor can play pool! I can't believe I didn't think of that! You stupid. Alright, I'm gonna go first! Here I go! In seven, three, five! Let's do this! Let's do this. So I hurried up and I checked the wind temperature to make sure it was good for playing pool and then I took my shot but unfortunately I missed. Then I started to use my what? pro pool playing skills to get all these balls in the pocket. Alright, so it has come down to the final shot. Literally all I have to do is hit this ball right here into this hole. Here I go. No! I can't believe it! The pool table made me miss my last shot! I'm gonna absolutely demolish my pool table! So I heard up and I grabbed my pool table and then I just hated it! That's a lot of damage! And I broke the pool stick and I ran over to the pool table and then I just started throwing it around trying to break it! Then I jumped on top of it and ripped it apart with my bare hands! And then I just started throwing it again! Take that pool table! And destroying a pool table is a lot of hard work. I am like extremely exhausted. So I'm just gonna head inside and like take a nap. And then I'll see you guys at the main part of the video. Goodbye until then. The next day. Alright, guys, so it is now the next day. And something super crazy is literally happening right now. Like literally five minutes ago, I was just outside doing some parkour. Whenever I looked over and I literally saw something on the other side of our pond. Oh my god. And that is exactly why we are coming out here right now. Like we are literally gonna be heading to the other side of our pond to try to figure out what that thing is. But before we can head over there, I am gonna need a weapon that will keep me safe because the thing on the other side of our pond could be like super dangerous. It's a good thing I got this ginormous boomerang right here because this thing looks like it would make a great defensive weapon. And just to make sure that this thing is gonna keep me safe, I'm just like gonna have Torque throw it at me. So here, Torque, just throw this boomerang at me. Now that we got this boomerang right here, let's go ahead and head over there to the other side of the pond to figure out what this thing is. Come on, let's go. So I hurried up and I grabbed this random trampoline and then I yeeted it out into the water. And then I ran back and I just jumped into this little pool and then I started swimming over to the other side of the pond as fast as I could so we could try to figure out what this thing was. All right, so we have now made it over here to the other side of the pond. Let's hurry up and try to find that thing that I saw earlier. So we hurried up and we looked around this whole entire area, like on the other side of the pond where I saw the thing at. No way! Uh, unfortunately, the thing that I saw earlier literally isn't here anymore. Like, it was literally just right here 
a second ago, and then it just randomly disappeared. And I have absolutely no idea where it went. Like, we literally just searched around this whole entire area, and we didn't find it. But guys, that was absolutely insane. Like, there was definitely something here a second ago. But unfortunately, whatever that thing was, it is literally not out here anymore. And after swimming all the way over here, I am getting, like, extremely exhausted. So, I'm just gonna head inside and take a nap, and then I'll see you guys whenever we come back out here. Um, goodbye. Alright guys, so it is now the next day and something super crazy is literally happening like again Just like three hours ago We were out here whenever we saw something on the other side of the pond and now there is something over there again Look! Oh my god Now I have absolutely no idea what that thing is that is over there or if it's even the same thing that we saw earlier But I guess there was only one way for us to find out and that is for us to just head over there and check it out. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guys, I just realized I literally don't have a floaty over here. Like, unfortunately, they are all on the other side of the pond. Oh. It's a good thing I always keep a floaty in the back of my what? shirt. I can use this floaty right here to get me over to the other side of the pond. Let's hurry up and blow it up. <laughs> this floaty is super hard to blow up. I'm gonna have to use my super manly lung muscles to blow this thing up. Here I go. So I used my lung muscles to blow up the floaty and it actually worked. Just look at how awesome this floaty is. This thing is like super beautiful and luxurious looking. But all right, now that we have a floaty right here, let's go ahead and head over there to try to figure out what this thing is. Come on, let's go. So I hurried up and I headed out into the water and I just started swimming as fast as I could so we could get to the other side of the pond to try to figure out what this thing is that I saw over there. Alright, so we have now made it over here to the other side of the pond. And oh my goodness, guys, look, the thing is right there. Oh my god. It literally looks like it's like some sort of note or something. No way, I can't believe this. This must be the thing that we saw from the other side of the pond. And it is literally like a note. Like it says something on it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. It says, give me Luca signed Alberto. Say what? Guys, what that note is saying is that like Alberto, which is literally this sea monster right here from the movie Luca. He is literally telling us that he wants us to give him Luca. Because if you guys do not remember in this video right here, which was literally my last YouTube video, we captured Luca in real life. And Alberto is telling us that he wants us to give him Luca. This is absolutely insane. And I'm guessing that Alberto was literally the one that we saw over here earlier today. Because if you guys remember earlier in the video, I literally said that it looked like somebody was standing over here. And then whenever we came over here to the other side of the pond, the thing that we saw was literally gone. And I'm guessing that it was like Alberto. Because Alberto was literally the one that just left us that note. And this is like the same exact spot that we were at earlier today. And this must mean that Alberto is literally like out here in our pond somewhere. So make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys guys think about this? Like, should we try to find Alberto and maybe even try to capture him? Or do you guys have any other ideas? But I don't know, guys. This video was absolutely insane. And if you guys are not already subscribed, then make sure you go and absolutely destroy that subscribe button so that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But man, after doing all of this intense stuff, I am getting, like, extremely hungry. And there's literally a piece of paper right here. Oh, my God. And paper is literally like my favorite snack. And that paper is looking super tasty. So I'm just gonna eat it. What? We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Man, guys, random stuff didn't finish his paper. So I guess now I literally know what I'm eating for dinner. Let's go. Peace out. <laughs> All right, do man. it. That's hot. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams.